Alrighty, alrighty. Do we have a mega haul going on today? We are looking at a couple of products from the brand Jolly Ying. They are a travel company that offers various products such as luggages and bags. And as you guys know, I love traveling and going on little unplanned trips. And so today we're gonna to be taking a look at three products. We have a carry-on luggage, a check-in luggage, as well as a nice little bag. And these bags aren't just your traditional luggage. They're a little bit special because they are collapsible and you can fold them into really, really tiny packages, making it a very portable option where you can store it away in a very compact shape, saving space and making life a little easier. So without further ado, let's open these products up and see what we have in the box. I'm gonna move this aside for now and I wanna check out the carry-on luggage first. I gotta say, I love the packaging design. It's very simple and minimal, and it also looks all very coherent, which is cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift up all these tabs over here. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. I love how nicely packaged this is, and it has the Jolly Ying logo on here. Very cute. Wow, look at that. Ready for the magic, guys? Badoosh. That is insane. This is in its closed form and it's really, really slim. So when you're not using it and you're not traveling anywhere, it's a great way to you know store this away without taking up so much space like traditional luggages. Right off the bat, we have our TSA lock on top with your you know three pin passcode as well as a key. It has a very nice hard shell construction on here. So it's nice and heavy duty. And of course we gotta do the wheel test. Yes, sir. So I opted for the blue color and they do offer various color options depending on your taste. The reason why I chose blue is I feel like it's a very fitting color and I like how it's not too saturated. It's a little bit on the more lighter side, kind of like a baby blue. And it kind of adds to the whole cute-esque of this luggage as a whole. There's a little strap here that is attached via a little clip. Same thing with the other side. And now we can reveal how big this thing can actually get. That is what it looks like. So that is how big it is when it's fully opened. Of course, we don't have anything in here, so it's a little floppy. But yeah, that's a full-size carry-on that you can just bring on the plane. You don't gotta check it in. And when you're done with it, <laughs> just like a sandwich. Of course, you have your handle over here. You can click, open up, nice and sturdy. We will be taking a look inside and checking out all the features and the compartments. But for the time being, let's open everything else up. So this one over here is gonna be the check-in luggage. So it's gonna be a lot bigger. You can store a lot more stuff. Ooh, this one has a little handle in here, as you can see, little pull tab. Wow, look at this dust bag. It's like a very velvety, smooth material. Anyways, let's open it up and see what we have inside. So I opted for a white color. It looks a little bit grayish. I'm not sure if it's exactly white or gray, but it's a very muted color, which I like. It's not in your face. Yet again, it features the same hard shell exterior and the straps on the side, which you can remove to enable the full size luggage. So we're gonna open this thing up and see how big it gets. So just for size comparison, this is the closed config on both. They look pretty identical, if you will. Uh, obviously the big one is slightly bigger. So here we go. This is the full size when it's opened up. You know, definitely bigger than what the carry-on can supply. In terms of features, obviously it has the same metal, you know, handles over here that can open up. Uh, on the front side, you also have your TSA locks. Now last but not least, we have our little carry-on bag or accessory bag. They call it their soft hard bag. So it's kind of like a hybrid, if you will. Very, very lightweight, which is nice. I can feel the sort of stiffness. It kind of feels like a, a cylinder almost. So check that out. This is their messenger bag. And I gotta say, I love the way it looks from an aesthetic standpoint. Kind of has a cubic shape to it. And it's a very nice leathery, grippy-ish, you know, material on here and the sides are a hard shell. Now, even though the center portion is a softer material, it doesn't really have a problem with the structural rigidity. It still feels nice and firm. Um, I'm not sure where the support brace is, but it looks smooth all around from the center portion. Of course, you can adjust the straps, but just, you know, first hand, this is what it looks like, you know? There's a nice little carry-on piece right here. It's also a great bag just to have for just everyday use. It doesn't have to be just for travel only, but I'm pretty sure it can fit a lot of stuff in here with a nice little zipper on top. Wow, that was a smooth zipper. So yeah, we're gonna change the camera angle and get a more detailed look on the interior of these products to see what you're really dealing with over here. So now let's take a deeper look into the carry-on luggage. We're gonna open it up and see all of its features. Now, the first thing I gotta say, it's super cool that the zippers itself have a locking mechanism 
on this TSA lock. That way the zipper clips are not gonna get damaged and it prevents it from opening up by mistake. To unlock it, there is a little pull tab here and if you pull it, it opens it up. So really, really cool mechanism and it's really, really thought out. Now that it's unlocked, we're gonna go ahead and open it up. And here we go. Alrighty, so as you can see, inside of this suitcase, we have a whole bunch of compartments. And I'm gonna walk through how everything works over here. But first of all, let's move on to the left side. We have this nice open area where you can put all your belongings and you have a little mystery pocket here where you can store some extra personal items and you get your warranty card in here. So you can always register that and be nice and safe. On the other side, it might look confusing at first, but there's actually a mechanism to allow this luggage to hold its structural rigidity. So there are four little blocks over here, which essentially will button into these edges, giving you that structural rigidity when you wanna make it expanded. Underneath that, we have this little X strap to hold all your belongings down. So if you have clothes and whatnot, this will add some tension so it's not flopping around, giving you some sectioning between each side. So we're gonna go ahead and set this thing up. These pretty much go up here and this will wrap over it and button down. And just like that, you can see how much more space you're able to gain. This is a very deep luggage. You can put a lot of stuff in here. So we're gonna go ahead and zip this thing up and show you guys how sturdy it actually is. And now, as you can see, this soft edge is now nice and sturdy and it's not floppy anymore. So it's nice and strong. And when you're done with it, you can undo those flaps and collapse it. Now taking a look at the larger size check-in luggage, it's pretty much the same exact concept. And inside, as you can see, it's very similar to the carry-on luggage, the same mechanism here to fold it to the full size. But on the left side, we have a much more complicated setup over here. We have more pockets over here. We have a total of two large ones in the front in this little sheet. And underneath, you have more space. So this check-in luggage is definitely gonna give you more compartments and more space for all your belongings. Now taking a look at their messenger bag, this is also quite unique as well. I love this little adjustment ring on top here. It's a very sleek and modern design. And also it's a very high quality metal finish. It pairs really, really well with the color scheme of this bag being this sort of, you know, slate-ish gray color. Taking a look at the front of the bag, we have a buttery smooth zipper for one of the pockets over here. It is nice and deep as well, so you can put any sort of documents or wallet and whatnot in this area. On the side here, it's a hard shell for nice protection, and it's also labeled on here, messenger bag 12 liters, so that is the size. On the rear side, we have this nice strap insert area where this goes through. You can also hang stuff on here. You can also use it as a grab handle if you want. You also have an extra strap over here lining the entire bag. This is to protect and hide this section over here, which has some more zippers. Now this mechanism is a little bit interesting because it looks like you can just pull it right off. You know, it won't do that. So it's very thief proof, if you will, if someone wants to get to your belongings, try to take something. They might think to just pull at it and yank at it, it's not gonna work. It's a magnetic and mechanical system where it releases if you pull it downward on a strap. So it's a little easier if you have the bag on your body and just pull down, it's a quick little quick release system. So pretty much, you just wanna get some leverage on it and pull down all the way. And you hear that click and it's open. And to close it, you don't have to try to line it up or anything, it's a quick lock. So because there's a circle here that's magnetic, you just lay it down. Boom, and it automatically clamps down on that mechanism. And yet again, you can't lift it. So we're gonna open up the zipper. We have some packaging paper in here, which we're gonna take out. Inside, we have yet again, our warranty information, if you wanna register it so you can stay protected. Hopefully the camera can pick it up, but there is a mesh little pocket on the side here that has a nice zipper. And on the other side, you have another pocket. So on both sides, on the interior, you have pockets. And with the bag completely empty, as you can see, it still holds its structural rigidity. As you can see, it is a soft touch when it's completely empty, but it's not losing its shape thankfully due to this structure on the side. So I gotta say this bag overall, just as a standalone product is already quite amazing with this super cool mechanism for the locking and a unique styling that you've never seen anywhere before. So here we have it, the full collection of what Jollying has to offer, their carry-on luggage, their check-in luggage, as well as their messenger bag. And I gotta say, all these products paired together makes an incredible combination for your travel needs. If you guys are interested in any of these products, there will be a link in the description below. And you can use my promo code RICH20 for 20% off your purchase. With that being said, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.